this video, I'm going to talk about the regulation of GPCR mediated signaling. As we have seen earlier that GPCR mediated signaling is pretty important for chemokine receptor signaling and also in a clinical point of view. So the initiation of this signaling is important as well as the termination of the signal is also important. The whole mechanism works like a circuit. So it have to be switched on, it have to be switched off. Switching one on mechanism is pretty important. So switching off mechanism is also very important. If this circuit is not switched off, it will go for infinite time and that won't help that actually be harmful for the cell. So however, there are three mechanisms for switching off this total signaling cascade. One mechanism is there are certain kinases that phosphorylate these membrane associated G protein. This G protein coupled receptor get, uh, uh, get phosphorylated by a specific kinases as you can see uh, and this phosphorylated GPCR is actually docking site for arresting. As the name suggests it actually arrests this GPCR and this GPCR in arresting bound form cannot bind to this trimeric G, uh, this trimeric G protein. As this GPCR cannot bind to the trimeric G protein, the further downstream signaling pathway cannot take place. And the second mechanism is by RGS or regulator of G protein. So regulator of G protein, what it does, it actually hydrolyzes the GTP into GDP. So actually it increases the GTPase activity. So in this second strategy, the, upon ligand binding, the alpha subunit gets activated, but further its activity is reduced by this RGS. So in the third mechanism, what happens, uh, the receptor gets internalized and the internalized receptor forms endosome and this endosome can fuse to lysosome and get degraded or this receptor can be recycled back by an alternative mechanism. So these are the three basic mechanisms by which the GPCR signaling cascade could be regulated. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe and comment.